Good morning lads. Today we are going to be working over here in our survival base. We're going to be adding a sheep farm. And by that I don't mean a mutton farm, I mean a wool farm. So I'm going to be setting up different modules to house different colored sheep right behind this wall. If I have time I'll also set up a snow golem farm. The snow golem won't be AFK, I mean, it would be AFKable, but what I mean is it wouldn't run in the background. I'd have to come with the shovel, but that'd be real simple. But the sheep farm would be completely AFK, where it's just like any other sheep farm, and it'd be right here next to all the cows. Let's get into it. So, I, the pallet that I want to use is all wool, just to fit the whole sheep thing so what do I need I need wheat I have wheat don't I I think I have wheat yep so I definitely didn't make this bridge just to bring sheep across definitely not I wasn't thinking wow I need a sheep farm I should make a giant bridge just to get them across no <laughs> At least you'll never know. <laughs> Alright, so don't want to walk them through the lava. That would be silly. Also, to make the farm, I think sheep mechanics are rather simple. That You just need to maximize the amount of grass being grown. Per module. I also have most of the colors. I think there might be a few colors that I'm missing. So I'll definitely have to look for those. Of course I'll have to make a list of every Minecraft color that I, way I don't miss some. And I really thought sheep would be easier to find. I do need at least two. Here's one. And here's two. Sweet. Now just not now it's as simple as not breaking the tether. <laughs> Cow, if you come with me, you're gonna be steak. That's how you properly make a threat. Fair warning, totally true. Okay. I warned him. I also could have brought leads. That would have been smart. Because sometimes this is a bit finicky. Need to remember to avoid the lava. Let's see, bridge is this way. I should avoid the lava by quite a bit going this route. Nice and easy. This is definitely a first for me. I've never taken sheep through a waterfall pass before. Hey, careful. Don't jump off. Man, I need, I might have, yeah. There's a good chance I'll wish I put better railings up. Yeah, like I said, first time I've taken sheep down a waterfall path. I hope they're enjoying it. It's not every day you get to do something like this. Especially as a sheep. Hey, don't get distracted by the fish. You don't even eat fish. Grass lovers. Oh no. So, I'm a little slow. I just realized that they can't get through the portal. Um, quick experiment. Can you break a portal with a... Okay, careful. No, 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 no. Don't go over there. 
No. Bad sheep. Nope, doesn't break it. Alright. So, I'll keep their attention. But I need a bucket of water. Hey. We'll do something silly. Okay, good. Buckets, buckets, buckets. Look what you made me do. I thought you could... Do you need a dispenser? Ugh. Crap. This is so much more awkward than I thought it was going to be. Okay. <laughs> this was supposed to be the easy part. I'm not going to sacrifice this bow. Let's see. I might have to make a little pen form right here while I figure out what to do about... No. Don't know why I didn't think of this two seconds ago. I'm not doing anything. There it is. Problem solved. Crisis averted. Ugh. That shouldn't have been that stressful. Yep, just come right over here. Why build you a temporary housing area? Like so. And. As gratitude, I will go ahead and feed you both. And because I need them to breed anyways. But that's just in the fine print. Man. I seriously... Oh, I had string too. I could have made a dispenser. But I was tripping. I wasn't sure how I was going to get them through. I don't have flint. need to fix this. There we go. Now let's try that again. Boom. Flint. Ah, oh, darn. That's what I get for trying new things. And the force fields back up. Don't forget to take your force field down when transporting sheep. Alright. Now I need to get lots of sheep. Do I? I don't think I already have wool. So. And these guys won't be able to get their wool back without... grass. The good news is, is I do have grass blocks. And I'll also check to see if I have wool somewhere. Let's see, where do I have grass blocks? Right here. Only 17. Oh. And a shulker box full. Almost a shulker box full. So we'll take that shulker box. See if I have wool in here anywhere I don't think so I need to fix this a guy came through and blew stuff up because of that one block up there I was not happy about that alright these are all snow things I think snow 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 I thought I had wool somewhere. Looks like not yet. Oh, 
Well, that's why we need a wool farm, because we don't have any wool to speak of. Which is quite awkward, since we're wanting to make the whole farm out of wool. So what I can do is start working on the colors. No. First, I need to waste these grass blocks. Let's see. So I'll have to make this one taller. And I'll have to place this here for them to eat. And I wonder if it can phase through a block. So I'll put one like here and here and see if it phases through. No, not you. That's messed up. Oh well. Colors. Do have a shulker box of quite a few colors, but it doesn't have all of the colors. Like, I'm missing brown. Do I have it in the seed section? Melons, cocoa beans, that's what I was looking for. Boom, brown. And no, I didn't waste all my cocoa beans. I do have others at the tree farm. That would be silly. So now we're going to want at least one of everything. So what did I do with my shulker box? Here it is. Do I have an empty shulker box? I can. So let's make an empty shulker box. Oh, that was last project. I can throw that. I can put that away. Um, is any of this redundant? Don't need to save that or that. I don't need to save those either. And this is how I get a clogged inventory. Alright. So that box can be put away now. These stones can be put away. And then I'll have a baseline. for uh, all the colors that I need. Let's see, iron goes in here, gunpowder goes in here. Let's see, colors are staying, redstone, it belongs in the redstone box. But I have whole blocks in there, so I should be fine. I don't need to carry one torch with me. It's a bit silly. Do need food. The wood planks can go in the wood plank area. The lights can go in the light area. Yep, sure, I could build a big sorting system, but. I don't mind remembering where everything goes and just putting it away. Rotten flesh. And I think that should be everything. Oh. The leather goes over by the cows anyways. Right here. There. Like so. And there's the soul golems, snow golems, just in case we need them. See if any of these have grown up yet. Nope. Will they breed again? Oh, there we go. OK, 
Okay, it will. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color first though to see what we get for a child. I guess I won't know until it grows up. But now we can get brown wool. Very nice. Oops, they can get out now. Of course you did. Nope, not gonna burn it. I'm going to shear it. Excuse me, sir. There we go. And now I just get all the wool I want for the farm. About those colors. We've got brown. And, oh, we need to cook these. Hot. Oh yeah, that was mass producing stone. So actually I should take all the buckets out. Buckets away. Nothing more entertaining than watching a furnace do its thing. Alright, so we also have green. Put those in there. We've got blue and light blue. Light gray and white and magenta, orange, red, colors with Mithrandir, yellow, all right, so how many is that, 10, 3, 6, 9, 10 different colors, now let's throw everything in my inventory and see if they give me something I don't already have, like say pink. Different color. So now I'm up to 11. Let's try that again. Light green. Didn't already have. So now we're up to 12. I do believe I already have purple. Oh, I don't. We'll do that as well. 13. What else? Scion. Cyan. Scion. 14. Just getting all kinds of colors. Let's see. Orange. I've already got orange. Magenta. Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, now to Google to see if I'm right. So there are 16. I was close, but not close enough. I only have 14. An obvious exclusion was the color black, which I actually didn't need this many, but black. And gray. Oops, that's the wrong spot. I meant to put that in this chest. There we go. Now I've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. All the dyes in the game, which means I need 16, at least 16 different sheep. Probably gonna go for more like 32 different sheet. Sheet? Sheet? sheep all right i'm curious to see if that spreads and that that spreads but that's the brown sheep let's get a black sheep in there Boop. 
And let's get him to breed. Very nice. Excuse me, sir. Bad sheepy. Bad. No. No. Hmm. That's tricky. The baby's really not going to be that hard to get. It's the other one. Oops. I'm out of stone. Yep. Right this way, my cute little furry friend. Hey. Why is it so hard to walk when you're just trying to lead something? Yes. Good sheep. Yes. Solid. Alright. Now that sheep. Come on out. I said out. Now close all the gates. There we go. And slaughter everybody who left. That's how it's done. What are you doing here? Here, I thought I got them all. Come here, Mr. Sheep. Or is it Mrs.? Yep. Stay right there if you don't mind. Now slide. Thank you, sir. Wait, can you put fortune on shears? Probably not. Bad sheep. Hello there. <laughs> His face is just phasing through the wall. <laughs> Please. Oops. Wrong block. Please come enjoy a more spacious area with new grass to be eaten. In fact, tons of grass for you. Hey, wait for me. Thank you. Yes, come enjoy, come enjoy. And if you're willing, please breed again. Yes, thank you, thank you. So proud of you guys, you know. Yo, know, you guys keep doing the great things, the good work. So I've done quite a bit and there's quite a bit I want to show you. Firstly, I've got more than enough sheep to make one of every color. I haven't decided if I'm gonna make it to a two of every color, probably not. But I made the pen bigger, and if you do want to be, if you want a pen like this and you want to get in and out, just add something like an in chest, and you hop up on that tiny space, and you can get in and out all you want while they're still stuck inside. So, just a little pro tip for you. So I've been working on designs for how I actually want the process to work. And I wanted to see if glass would suffocate grass blocks, and it does not. So you can see these used to be grass blocks, but cobblestone absolutely suffocated it. Do I have a shovel? Good. It's going to make it easy to do this. So glass doesn't suffocate, so it will work as a top piece to keep the sheep in place. And here's the system for... See what I have on me dirt for harvesting the wool. So you just have shears in here, and every time this changes, it let's see, there it is, it gets detected and spits the shears out. So it's quite simple. This turns into grass, and the sheep eats it and it spits. So that's how this works. This is going to be the actual system itself. Um, this was a prototype. So the, how I'm picking up the items is I have a hopper minecart, a push. 
let me phrase this properly, a block pushed into a hopper mine cart. So it's picking up all the items. It probably actually has a few because it's this has ran for a little bit. In fact, I can check. It has fired about 50 times, 52-ish. But so I'll have the hopper mine cart here and then a hopper chain going out either here or one lower because I might want grass here to make the farm more efficient. I haven't decided. But then otherwise this is going to be the whole system complete right here. But actually I do want to check to see. Oops, I just broke this. Y'all didn't see that. But yep, quite a bit actually. So over a hundred. So that's quite a bit more than the 30, which means it gets more than one every time, which totally makes sense. So I'll clean all this up. I've been harvesting quite a bit of wool. I don't think that's all of it. There's more. So now I can tear down this wall and create stalls for the sheep. I'll tear the rest of this temporary stuff down and get into it. So I finally finished. Now for the big unveiling. Well, place with this one more block. Now for the big unveiling. Drop the curtain. All of the curtain. Boom. The sheep room. I'm sure the sheep will feel right at home here. But unfortunately, I still have to build all their modules, which I'm actually stuck down here. There we go. Where are you? There you are. So I still have to build all the modules. That shouldn't be too hard, but I have all these sheep to corral. So good luck to me. See you along the way, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And let's see, what was the bottom layer? You have grass blocks surrounding, or actually, I'm gonna want, why? As soon as I start building, you decide to stand here. Gonna want hoppers like so. 
And I'm gonna want grass blocks surrounding like this. And I should have brought scaffolding with me. But did I make Okay. So this is where foresight has completely failed me. Or lack of foresight has completely failed me. I need to measure how deep this is. So from where it sits, I need two blocks of space. And it's going to be three blocks high. So one, two, three. Right about there. Okay, we'll see how that plays out. Okay, is that correct? No, this is gonna to need to be one more forward. Like so. Now to go double check, excuse me. So I'm gonna need an observer which I have facing the block that's sitting here. I'll put a temporary block there. All right, piece of redstone dust here. Dispenser, oops, here with shears in it, of course. And grass blocks surrounding here. Where's my scaffolding? Okay, I'm gonna need a rail. It doesn't have to be powered, it's just what I happen to have on me. A block here. More scaffolding. Beautiful. Like so, and a power source. That's what I forgot. Although if I have a piece of cobble on it, I don't have a stick. I think I'll, I'll just use a redstone block. All right. And push. I am such a noob. That could have been very bad. You have to break the rail. Then push. There we go. Then I want, I think I do want a dirt block here and here. And then dirt blocks surrounding. Oh, wow. That is exactly where I want you. Do not move. Don't move, buddy. Wow, that is the luckiest I have been all day. Scooch in there. Um, I don't have glass yet, so I'll just use this. Suffocate the grass, it'll grow back. I cannot believe it just jumped up there for me. Oh, that, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Finally, a sheep getting in my way is helpful. All right, where did I put the glass? There it is. My beautiful scaffolding. Offhand, so I have plenty of time to pop up. There we go. And I believe that's everything complete. Tear out everything that's excess and see how it looks. 
well not looks per se but yeah how it looks okay can't see the sheep I was kind of wanting to see the sheep but that's all right so that's one module might be able to fit yeah I should be able to fit another one in front of it so that's one two three four So maybe six on the bottom layer. That means 12. That means I don't quite have enough room to fit all of them. Unless I do two per cell. So I'll just pick two of my least favorite colors and shove two sheep in there if I can. Yeah, I can. Let's see. What colors are my least favorite? Um... Definitely pink and probably magenta. So those two will share a room since they're so close. And then green and lime green will share. And yeah, I'll just make the ones that are real close share. All right, I'll build up the rest. So I have enough room to fit four modules in a cross. So I'm hoping but that's only if I scooch them all over by one. So I'm really hoping that I can push this block with the hopper, I mean, yeah, with the hopper minecart over at the same time. And it seems to have worked very well. Okay, that's good. Now if I get my sheep over there, I'll be happy. That saved me a whole bunch of time. And the sheep's officially been moved over one block. Now it's butting right up against the wall. I wanted there to be a gap, but oh well. I'll just have to remember to add lights so mobs don't spawn because these lights are going to be somewhat covered. But successfully moved this over by one. Now I just have to, I guess, I have to move the redstone too. But just have to do the same thing to this guy and I'll be all set to keep making progress. So I finished all the bottom modules and have sheep in them. Just, fin well, I finished those four bottom modules and also finished these four bottom modules. Now the fun part oof, is going to be getting the sheep up here. Sheep already really like climbing. Hey buddy, why don't you join us? So it shouldn't be too much for them to come up here, especially if you have some wheat in your hand. I thought so. Sheep, these sheep would jump off a cliff for wheat. In fact, a couple of them might. Okay, yep, just hold steady, align with the block. Now go in. So I've already got three up here, that's good. How did that one not go in? Uh, Alright, it's over the hole, right? Alright, I want to be careful not to push one off the edge. There we go. And captured. I'll leave the wheat in my offhand so I don't lose their attention. Alright, who's next? Break this one. Make it more convincing for the job inside. They're just not feeling it. That's all right. Please. Wow. <gasps> I fail. Crap. I need to get this out of my offhand so they don't jump. Man, sheep's hitboxes are real pushy. Wait, how do I have two sheep in there? I was very careful. See? That's what I meant. I barely touched the sheep. Like that again. I barely touched the sheep, and I'm the one that gets pushed away instead of the sheep. Sheep have the right of way every time. It's quite annoying. 
have to be really careful when you're pushing them around. Right, get in there, will you? Thank you. It's more like it. Now I need to eat because I'm getting bullied by sheep. Alright, so I need two more. Two more contestants. How far can they track this stuff? About here. Nope, use the stairs, take turns. No need to push. Don't fall. I feel like I'm teaching children. Okay. Yep. Hey, would you help me push this guy in here? Yeah, just help me. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Here we go. Just need to use them against each other. Okay. And again, I think his hitbox is too big. That's the problem. Which is very interesting. There, perfect. I just need to slide you out of the way so I can block him. Excellent. Yep. Just need to get you in here, and then I'll have half of this complete. Oh, too smooth. I'm done. Um, I would put a topper piece on. What I actually need is light, because this is light level six, creeper territory. So I'll get the light level up, but also I would put a block up here, but since I break this block, it's now impossible for another sheep to jump in there with them. So awesome. see and right now I have hoppers right here which are collecting the items but you didn't see that but what will end up happening is there's already a hopper here catching what comes from the hopper minecart this will be replaced with a colored shulker box and the shulker box will be the same color as the wool that's being gathered so nice. Looks good. I might have been able to add another layer up. But let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16. So it looks like I'm going to perfectly house one of every color. Let's get those next eight in. Got the bottom layer done. Now I've only got four to go. Oops. Oops. And at this rate, I've gotten decently proficient at the process. I'm still no expert by any means, but I've learned quite a few tricks to make my life easier. And one is to sometimes let blocks go. Like that little piece of dirt that's back there in the corner, I'm gonna let it sit there. It is hard for me though. Waste is not, something that I'm used to. Need to place it and break it. Boom. Efficiency. That's what I like. myself a little bit.
Boom. And that is definitely the hardest part right there. Everything else is super simple. Just throw in an observer. What? What was that? Throw in an observer. You know, as soon as I say something's easy, it's got to be a pain. Like what? It hasn't happened once yet. But now, every time, throwing an observer on the back. There. See? Easy. Observer on the black. <sighs> Boom. <laughs> Nailed it. I lied. I'm picking up the dirt. Block off the observer. Filling in the area with grass blocks. Here. If you're not following anything that I'm doing, that's fine. Just know it's it's for the cause. Right here is where my shulker box is going to be placed. Just in case you're wondering, how I'm gonna reach it is a great question. I might set up ladders. I haven't decided because I want to see how it's going to look when it's all finished. These lights need moved out one, so it's actually on the corner. Uh, if the dirt is there, then it needs to be one lower, which is right here. See how that looks. Did I miss anything? Doesn't look like it. I'll go ahead and staircase up because the sheep are going to need a staircase anyways. Like so. Oh yes, essential. I tried putting the sheep in first. That was absolutely retarded. Just throw these on now. Right now. Before something bad happens. And then I'm putting two shear in every one of them. Probably just made too many, but it's the joy of having an iron farm. I think all that iron got picked up by this mine cart, which is fine. Which, since I have extra, I'll just add a third to all these. Like so. Alright, then finish off the dirt. Or grass blocks, because these are grass blocks, not dirt blocks. You could make them dirt block and then just add like one or two grass blocks, but that would take forever and a day. Okay, then it doesn't matter what block you put here, but how nice of you to volunteer to come up all this way. Tear this down while I'm here. So I'm leaving one side open because sheep are apparently really fat and struggle to get in small places. So I just leave that gap there so I can just gently nudge them in the correct direction. Like so. Sometimes they're more willing than others. Can you Yes, sir, please do come, do come. Yep, there's a slot right here for you. 
Yep. Thank you. I need you to come this way up. Oh, where are you going? There we go. I need you to drop down two blocks for me. Will you do that? Yeah, there's one of them. And there's two. Thank you kindly. All right, you, sir, have not been forgotten. Yep, if you'd come right this way. Got a new home for you. Oops. Uh, don't worry, it's permanent. You will never be harmed again. Yep. There you go. Slowly but surely. Hey, stop fighting. Why do you have more push power than me? That's absurd. I am the main character. I should have the most push power. Come here, please. Well, since that guy's stuck, go ahead and add the lights to the back of these. Don't. I didn't. That's not where. Actually, that's a good point, though, Mr. Sheep. You do need to add redstone dust there. Otherwise, the whole system doesn't work. Yeah. It's a very important piece of redstone. So, question for you, lad. How are you going to get back up here? You're going to make me do the work. Yeah, thought so. Oh, nice of you to join us. Oh, you need to slide over here, actually. Yep, perfect. Here we go. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. This is permanent. Um, no, there will not be vacations. Thank you for signing up with us. Now, 4, 8, 12, 16, all in their place. All working. So now is when I wanted to step back and see how I'm going to get to my shulker boxes. I don't need this anymore. So I've got all the sheep that I need in their places, which means any extra sheep can be bred later or slaughtered. Don't care which. Alright. So now, immediately there are two problems. Oof. First problem is I made a big mess. Second problem is just since I had to go all the way the full width, my only way to the back side is over or through, which that's not too bad. You two are just going to chill back here till the end of your days, or you three. Yeah, you'll just live back here until I decide to add more modules up there. It's true. But that won't happen unless, like, Mojang add different colors to the game. It probably isn't happening. Alright, let's see. Can I get back through? Not without breaking one of these. Ah, that's water. I'm going to drown. Um, hmm. So my shulkers are right here. I could open them. But if I break them, it just sits there. So how am I going to get it down? I'm going to condense all this into one chest while I'm thinking about that. Uh, I could just fly. I'm, I don't mind flying around. 
Is that everything? Don't want to end up with extra things in my inventory. I struggle with that enough. Alright, let's finish cleaning. Because that's essential. There. I think so much better in a clean workspace. Where's my axe? I'm gonna have to put all these shulkers away. There. That makes me feel a little better. I'm gonna move all these lights over, but I'll do that after this episode's over. Oh, that's what I need to do. That's essential. I need to, again, use this as a dump chest. Unfortunately, it's already full. Man, there are a lot of blocks in Minecraft. I guess I can use this chest as well. Because I need to make sure I have a sheep in every color. Which is why I collected every color. I'm going to keep rockets just in case. So now I'm going to go through, and no matter what color the sheep currently is, I'm going to change it. Ooh, I want that piston back. But this goes back... <clears throat> Excuse me. This goes back to the problem of how am I going to get up here? I could... Let's see... Keeping a pickaxe, because I'm not stupid. Could just have like a block here for me to finagle? No. Again, ah, more mess to clean up. Again, rocket. Oh, that's a great solution. You're a genius. Stop running around without ender pearls. Ender pearls are lifesavers and time savers. So now just pop, pop, and boom, I'm up here in a one spot slot gap. Now, that's a flaw. Or it, it's not a flaw, it's actually a good thing, but I can't change their color while they are in the system. So the quick fix to that is to break the system, which should be as simple as removing all this redstone. And waiting a bit. So I'll get back to you when all of them have when I can actually change all their colors. So I had to stop by an in city to pick up some shulker shells because I actually ran out. I'll kill you in a second. And this is the first time I've seen three big in cities all right next to each other. I mean, these, all three of them are absolutely massive. And they're all within eyesight. That's absolutely amazing. So that saved me a ton of time. But now I have shulker boxes that I'll be able to color. And put in their, pers in their respective spots. Wow, those two cities were just massive. Absolutely massive. But it got me everything I needed. Probably then some. Let's see, I only needed... 16 boxes Perfect The rest can go into storage. I'll put these in their proper shulker boxes later But bunch of two elytra I feel like there should be a third Three ships three wings. Yeah, there should be a third. I wonder if I left one All right, so here's the box of goodies I need right now 
because at least some of these sheep. That's, that's not how you're supposed to do it. There we go. Alright, where's my box? Here it is. I guess we just work our way right to left. Like so. Then we want these in our hot bar. Like so. Blue. And a blue shulker box to go with it. Which will end up going right there. I'll just place it next to it for now. That way I can be expedient. And then white. With a white shulker box. And then yeah, there's no way to get over there without a pearl. Green. Green shulker box. That will do. Okay, now to the top floor. Well, that was weird. I almost glitched through the glass, which I have actually done that before. It's a scary thing. Pink. All right, back to our colors. We might be able to get the rest in our inventory now that we lost some stroker boxes. Almost. After this top row. Is it already gray? Um, yeah, we'll change it anyways. Could have just left it, but that defeats the point of the whole system. We'll make you gray. Yeah, and now I can fit all of the colors in my inventory. You can be black. Bingo. So that's half of them done already. It's a very easy process. And we'll do these because it's easier. Brown with a brown box. Like so magenta. This magenta looks more pink than the... I guess, no, it doesn't. Spoke too soon. It looks pretty magenta. Light gray. You know, it's colors with myth. You guys know your colors, but we gotta go through all of them. Every single one. There's lime. And we're down to the last four. Red. Pop. Light blue. Which, the sheep normally look pretty ugly. Like, look at the sheep's wool color compared to the actual wool color. The sheep's yellow is a real ugly, whereas that's the same color, or so they say. these. Did I miss it by a layer? Yeah. So this, oops, I can break this, can't I? Nothing bad will happen. Yep. Did I get the, I didn't, it should be in here. There we go. This will go right here. Now all the lime wool that comes through will be in the lime box. And I'll fix it again by, oops, that was a weird spot. There, now I can open it, see if it's full. All right, have we colored this guy? We only have two colors left and there's only two guys over there, so that's a no. I mean, yes, we have colored him. 
yellow, get its own box. And then, yeah, I'll do all the boxes off camera. I'll just go ahead and finish the video right here by creating the last shulker box like so, and I'll put it in its place. Oops. And I'll put it in its place properly. So that's how they're all gonna look. So they're all gonna have, I guess I can do this row to show off. Yeah, I really like this system. Excuse me. I'm not sure what I think about these extra sheep. If they really get in my way, I can always just barbecue them. But there. I like it. Let's get one last look from outside. And that'll do. It's not the prettiest. Kind of wish I could see the sheep better. But when all the shulker boxes are in the right places, it should be fine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like. Subscribe. All the YouTube things. See ya.